Damn, Johnny Gobble. You are at it again, aren't you? You have to make another video that had only one thing to say. It was just Ryan up church. You know, you know like, yeah, I, I don't really believe you have Stockholm Syndrome. And I, really don't, I don't really think you have any kind of sense when it comes to actually, you know, like, oh, hey, look, this is my content. This is what I do. You know, that in itself is actually kind of sad. Whereas you need to actually just mention somebody's name at a pure hypeness. And then it guarantees the views, so you get that weird, uh, and everybody has it. Everybody has their own thing. A lot of people have dopamine, like, they chase dopamine in a way where they can just say, hey, look, this is what I do to get, like, you know, instant sat uh, satisfaction or, or whatever. Whatever your high is when it comes to dopamine chases, and yours is just pure, hey, let me just, uh, let, let me find something of the downfall towards Ryan Upchurch. And I don't really know if you know this, but, you know, there was another kid, his name was Spaz VX. He did the same thing you did, but the only thing is with him is kind of with you where you actually tried to bring about his downfall all because he made fun of you. And honestly, that's kind of what happened with Spaz. Spaz tried to go ahead and be uh, a reaction channel and it didn't really take off. And he tried to choose a fan base that was probably he thought was one of the easiest, but it wasn't. It wasn't really the smartest move. Kind of like you, where you like I'm pretty sure you listen to Ryan Upchurch's music all the time. And same thing with AJ Love. His whole thing, hey, I I don't like how you are to me, but I'm still gonna listen to your music. I'm willing to bet that you still listen to the music of Ryan Upchurch. And back to Spaz Reacts. Spaz in itself tried to, you know. He tried to be a hater on all the music and then try to go back to the old videos to try to, I guess, uh, you know, shine a negative light on Ryan Upchurch. And you're doing the same thing t uh, too, and you did that in general. But the only thing what Spaz did was he actually got out of his bias and he actually started to appreciate the stuff that Ryan Upchurch was pushing out. And then in itself, we all knew that he was kind of a dickhead for, you know, for just coming out hard and calling all of us school shooters and what have you. And he slowly tried to get into the graces. It wasn't good, but he just realized, like, hey, man, you kind of flip-flopped back and forth. You first didn't like the guy. You trashed the fan base. Now you're reacting to the music. And then the people that he collaborated with, you're starting to like it a little bit. And then it was one of those things where there's no credibility anymore. And now Spaz Reacts is just gone. The, that YouTube account is gone. You can't really find much of anything with, with Spaz Reacts or AJ Love or I want to say, uh, you know, damn. There, there's a long list of uh, people like you that just try to kind of come around and just kind of use the name to generate views and garner some kind of notoriety. And in this case, your notoriety comes up to the fact that we all were just making fun of you and it just became comical. And now you're just using that to just kind of, you know, your one trick pony. And your one trick is just saying anything bad when it comes to Creek Squad or Ryan Upchurch. But the majority of it is with Ryan Upchurch. And just kind of like my content, it's, out, like you know, I'm no content creator. I know you're no content creator. Really, you're just a dude with an account that has an opinion. And I have the same thing too. But still... I, I can really I can really tell that you are scared just like in you know like some of the comments that you actually put in the in my videos that you're not scared yeah you are you wanna know how I know you're scared one of the main main giveaways of knowing how you're scared is the fact that you remove the comments so people can't comment towards you because the consensus would show that a they're gonna say things to you that you're not gonna like and even in your latest video where they're making fun of you like I've never outran the police. Well, guess what? I don't think you ever owned anything as fast as in the Hellcat to actually outrun the police. Now, I mean, I've done it, and that's not me telling on myself, because there's no context to it. There's plenty of it. I mean, I, I mean, a good number of people have been 14 to 13 years old and had to run from cops, especially if they grew up the way I did, and that's too long of a story, and it's actually kind of boring and a little sad, so I'm not going to explain it here. But for further context, I probably will, but... No, probably not, because this video is getting way too long to just kind of like, you know, it's an oversimplified video to show you, Johnny Gobble, that, hey, look, 
all you're doing is harping on the negatives. You're, I know you like the music. I know you probably heard everything that just came out with Run Up Church. I haven't yet because, you know, it, it's good music, but it's not the ones that I listen to on the regular, you know. But we all kind of see your little, you know, your one trick on, you know, on this little pony show you have here. It's just, hey, I'm going to find anything bad about Ryan Up Church, and then I'm going to, like, make a whole 30-minute video about it. I'm going to get my, you know, you know one to 3,000, top 1,000 views, and that's it. And it's, and quite frankly, go right ahead. But it's one of those things, yeah, okay, cool. Let's find out what Johnny Gobble thinks is a negative, uh, negative ladder on Up Church, and then we'll go and we'll figure it out for ourselves, and then we'll come back to the comment sections and call you an idiot because you kind of just you uh, over dramatized and then blew something that was a small, minute detail and made it the biggest thing ever of a video. So, yeah, to uh, to end this particular video, yeah, I know you're scared. You're scared of criticism. You're scared of people actually figure like, figuring out that like, hey, you just blew something out of uh, you blew something really small out of proportion, and then you made it a big deal. And then when we do our own research, and we call you out, and you disable the comments and you delete the comments, we figured that out already by now. And that's how I know you truly are scared. Not exactly of me or the things I was doing or what have you. You're just afraid of of just plain plain outright criticism and it comes from a lot of people with a YouTube account that want to leave a comment and then when the consensus show that a hey, your so-called fans they're there to back you up but the actual overwhelming number of people that don't that don't back you up and call you a moron that shows the most and then when you want to use the number system by hey look the numbers say I'm doing well. Well, yeah, it's doing well when you're ignoring the overwhelming numbers that tell you you're doing something wrong. So, I'm pretty sure I just explained something that is very, very hard for you to understand. Believe me, I work with a lot of morons at work, and I have to, I almost feel like I have to paint them a picture in crayons, but unfortunately, I don't have crayons right now, and I don't have a piece of paper to draw it out for you. So, with all that being said, Johnny Gobble, I know you're afraid, I know your trick. Well, your one trick. It's not even tricks, really. And uh, quite, quite honestly, Nicola uh, Tessa, AJ Love, Spaz Reacts, Rebel, uh, Rebel Dipper, and let's see. Did I miss anybody? Uh, well, no. Well, Wild Bill is uh, is Nicola Tessa. So believe me, th those videos are still out there. So I would recommend you go and watch them, and you'll find out how you kind of did the same thing that they're doing. And the formula is the same thing. They all just ended up being the laughing stock on Up Church's channel. So, with all that being said, Johnny, I'll keep doing what you're doing. I know you're afraid, and I know you're afraid of criticism. And what do I care? I'm still here to call you out on it. And for everybody else, thanks for you know, like, thanks for swinging by. Thank, uh, uh, thank you so much for the views, and actually, you know, like, bumping up the uh, the subscriber. I don't think we're we're gonna ever gonna get to the point where it could actually be anything full time where I can talk about other things and what have you. I have other things in mind, but but honestly, like you know, little little, uh, little small job change and uh, it's not really affecting me. It's actually kind of great. It's actually less stress. It's not management, but uh, it's one of those things. I'm just like, well, okay, cool. You know, I went up the totem pole. Big deal. But yeah. Hopefully I'll bring, uh, bring all some, uh, some different, uh, different type of content, see what y'all like and what have you. But I'll, I'll figure it out because the idea of uh, YouTube is to have an idea for content. So, But still, thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, hey, as always, stay free and stay strong, right? <laughs>